This is video number three for the group WorkCamps Utah projects uh, on how to build a deck. In the first two videos we showed how to build the platform and set these posts and build the stairs and set the railing posts in concrete. So this is where we left off at the end of video two. Again the goal is that our deck look like this when we're all done so in this video three we're going to talk about how to to measure and cut these railings so that they all line up. The first thing we need to do is at up to this point we've just run all of the porch posts kind of wild so they're sticking up in the air and we need to cut every one of them off. Uh, to do that you just need to measure up exactly three feet from the top of your decking and draw a line and cut each post off nice and square at that height. The next thing you're going to do is you've got to find, in, in this picture it, it's showing that it's already done, but you've got to find out where the top of this post planes in with this post and you're going to cut this post off at that height. To do that, if you'll take just a nice straight board and lay it across the top edge of all the stairs and use it as a reference board. And then measure from where just the top edge of your reference board to the top of this post. So that's going to be the height of our deck post. You know, from the reference board up. Let's say that's 20 inches. And then you're going to come down here and off of the reference board you're going to put a measurement up on both sides of this post. So on this side you'd measure from here up and if it was 20 inches you'd put a mark at 20 inches and then you'd go to this side of the reference of this post and measure from from here up and when you do you're essentially kind of making a para a line parallel with the bottom edge of this reference board and uh, giving yourself a couple of marks you'll draw a line here and you'll have a parallel line and, and you'll know where to cut that post off um, so if you'll make those marks and cut each of the the stair posts off of that height, then all of your posts will be at their finished height. Once you've done this, you're ready to install or begin installing the railing. Uh, for if this is a four by four porch, you can cut both of these railings at right at 48 inches, and they should be they should give you a little extra length which we're going to be trimming this length. And you can install these uh, rails now or you can have someone hold them in place while you make a few marks. Then you can take them down and make some cuts. Uh, sometimes it's easier to put one screw in each of these and make some of the marks that we're going to make and then take the screws out, cut it, and then put it back in place. Um, but the top rail is going to go flush with the top edge of the posts. The bottom rail it should be installed 12 inches apart. So if you measure from here down to here, that should be exactly one foot. You'll have a nice 12 foot space and that'll put that just about in the center of your rail. So once you've got those installed, then you're going to take a full length board and you're going to kind of hold it up in position. You'll, you'll make you'll hold up hold it up here where it's flush with the the top edge of that cap and you'll hold it here where it lines up with the the point where the top rail is going to intersect with the post and basically the goal is to draw is to carry the front edge of that post and draw a line across the top rail you've already installed and also draw a line on this stair rail. Um, once you've done that you're going to draw the same line down below but obviously we're not aligning it with anything on the post we're just right where these two boards intersect you're going to draw a line across the bottom of both of those and then once you have that line drawn you can take your square and connect the dots so you'll draw a line across the, the face of this rail with your square and then you can so there's the line and, and you'll 
the goal is to cut that line and then this rail will be ready to install. Uh, and then you'll do the same thing with your speed square. You'll just connect the dots on the rail that's already installed. So it looks like that. And then you'll you may need to remove this so you can cut it or if you're good enough with the skill saw then go ahead and set the depth of your skill saw so that it's just an inch and a half and cut this off in place and then you're ready to install that next rail. You'll repeat that process for the bottom rail and then down on the post these rails are just going to kind of be running long um, and what you do is you just come back here on the back side of it and with your pencil just draw a line you know once you, while you're holding that in place without before you've installed it you just draw a line back here and you'll have a reference line to cut both ends so you can cut that post right to length and then the goal when you're done is that they're just flush with the front edge of your post once you've got that we're ready to install the top cap we're going to use 2x6 for the top cap as well. And again, you can just use a 48 inch or 4 foot long board on a 4x4 four four porch. Uh, here we'll use our speed square and we're lining this edge up with basically where the intersection of these two are. And then we're going to transfer that line up onto our top cap. So we we'll we're going to draw a line using that speed square right here and then we'll lay our speed square across the top flat and draw in that line like that. Now one of the things you need to note is when you're using your speed square here you can take a measurement of the angle that you're going to need to put the table on your skill saw so that you'll know what angle to cut this top rail at and the way that you do that is if you put your speed square here and you've got everything lined up then this back row it will tell you the angle that your saw should be on so in this example it's uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 it looks like it's about 16 or 17 degrees so you'd use that measurement and you'd put your the table on your saw on that angle and then when you're cutting, you can cut this line and it'll cut off at that angle. Now you'll use that exact same angle. Well, let's go ahead and so cut that off and you can install that. And then you can use that exact same angle, the 17 degrees, just cut off the end of a board. And we'll use that board and lay it down here as the, as the other top cap. And if you've done all of this correctly, the angles on both sides of these should be exactly the same. So we'll just lay that board there and install it. And then down here on the end, I found if you basically make this board just about an inch and a half to two inches longer, and you can just do a nice square cut on that. And that gives you a pretty good finished look for your portrayal. Now repeat the process to complete the other side of the rail and as you can see make sure you have plenty of fasteners uh, to keep the rail up. All of the fasteners that you're putting on on the rail are just your three inch screws and be careful you're not putting the screws so close to the ends of the wood that it's splitting the wood out. On this intersection you may need to be careful or, or drill some pilot holes. But that's it you finished your deck and hopefully it looks a lot like this one. Um.